There's been a meeting now between the Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, and the South African President, Cyril Ramaphosa, and they uh, spoke about different issues. <clears throat> Gaza was stopping the agenda. There's been a statement from the South African Presidency a while ago talking about both Qatar and South Africa sharing deep concern about what happened in Gaza. Now I'm being joined by the South African Minister of Foreign Affairs, Nalidi Pando. Thank you very much indeed for talking to Al Jazeera. I would like to ask you a question. As we speak, the Israeli army has stormed Al Shifa Hospital. Could you, could you give us a sense of a reaction from the South African government? Well, we are appalled at how this horror and tragedy uh, that is unfolding uh, continues to get worse and worse. I think the world has seen enough, and it is time for the most powerful in the world to put a stop to this horror that Israel is unfolding against the people of Palestine. It is only countries that have influence over Israel who can stop this real crime against humanity that we are seeing right before our eyes. You stood out by the statements you made in the past. Your president said that the, what is happening to the Palestinians reminded him of what happened to the South Africans during the uh, apartheid on November the 6th. You recalled your ambassadors of all your diplomatic missions in Israel. What is next against the backdrop? of what is happening? Are we likely to see more of a stronger stance when it comes to South Africa? Well, we have spoken about a referral to the ICC. We're working on that. We believe it's important. In fact, we would have uh, anticipated that the ICC would react much earlier because thousands of people have been mowed down and these are innocent uh, Palestinian people who have suffered decades of harassment and occupation. The matter of apartheid and the very, very clear similarities between the conduct of the Israeli state and the apartheid state has been identified by researchers, non-governmental organizations. We know people cannot own property. Their property can be seized without any compensation, which is what we experienced in our own country. People have to carry identity documents that reflect your ethnicity rather than citizenship. All of this is part of the apartheid feature. And so there can be no denial that the corollary between the conduct of the Israeli state against the people of Palestine is so closely aligned to the apartheid conduct. Thank you very much.